Akira-san will show you three alternate ways to make sushi with uni. Sea urchin! Hello everyone, this is Yuri and Akira desu. Today's ingredient is uni! Luscious and rich, gorgeous gem of sea. It is known to be one of most expensive ingredients in the netta box, so I'm sure you want to make sure everything is pitch perfect to make uni shine. In today's video, we will show you three different methods of serving uni. We will show you gunkan maki, nigiri sushi, and temaki sushi. So don't be afraid, follow simple step with Akira-san and enjoy uni. Let's start from gunkan, the basic. Nori seaweed is the key ingredient of gunkan maki. Today, we're using nori from Chiba Prefecture, Moridensu Sushi Nori. There are different locations famous for nori production like Ariake, Isebe, and Chiba, but anything is okay as long as it is nice and crispy. Now prepare one sheet of nori. We will cut this into a small strip. Place nori so that its linear pattern is perpendicular to the base of chopping board. First, Cut the sheet into half. Stack them together neatly. Then trim off both sides of dori. About 1.5cm to 2cm will be good enough. We will reuse this part as obinori, a belt-like nori that's often used in tamago sushi. Let's put obinori aside for now, then divide this main piece into four. The height of gunkan maki are determined by how thick you cut this. Some restaurants cut it in three, but today we will go with four. Okay, let's start making gunkan maki. Gunkan is the Japanese word for battleship, and it was named after the looks of this sushi. Shari we use for gunkan is slightly larger than shari for normal nigiri sushi. To make shari bowl, use your left thumb to press the side gently and press from top using your right forefinger and middle finger. Basically, we repeat this movement four times. Now flip your shari around. Then give a second gentle squeeze with your left thumb and right fingers. Roll the shari towards your palm. Then bring it back to the middle of your hand. Then give a third gentle squeeze with your left thumb and right fingers. Rotate your shari 180 degrees. Then give a final squeeze. That's four movements in total. In Japanese, we count each movement by saying te. Pontegashi consists of four te. If you stick to this rule, your sushi making motion will be an elegant one. So do try. Now let's wrap shari using nori strips we prepared earlier. Oh. Depending on strip you pick, there may be nori with a side of rough edges. Make sure to bring that edge to the bottom of sushi for better aesthetic. Take wasabi with your chopstick and put it on middle of shari. Then gently place desired amount of uni. What would be a good amount with perfect balance, Akira-san? やっぱりここの軍艦のお寿司にした時にやっぱり海苔からちょっと頭出るぐらい好きだとついつい盛りすぎちゃうんだよね。At last, lightly apply nikiri soy sauce. Crispiness of nori matches perfectly with flavorful uni. Uni no gunkan maki de gozaimasu. Part 2 will feature uni no nigiri a simple sushi without any nori around. In ordinary sushi making process, step 1 of nigiri always start off by grabbing your netta with left hand. But as uni is extremely soft and delicate, we start off by making just sharidama, then crowning uni on top afterwards. Place wasabi, then uni. Top tip here is not to be greedy with the amount of uni you put on or else it will be very hard to hold the sushi in the next step. Now gently grab your sushi and shape it up using your fingers softly in the hontegashi manner. This time we will tap on a hint of kosher salt and give it a refreshing twist 
by squeezing a dash of sudachi citrus. You can enjoy the taste of uni directly. Uni no nigiri de gozaimasu. Last but not least, we will show you temaki sushi, a hand rolled sushi. Oh! Prepare a piece of nori that's cut into the size of one fourth of whole sheet. Wet your hand with tezu, a hand vinegar, then grab about 30 grams of shari and place them on the middle of nori. Put a pinch of wasabi on shari. Here, make sure to place them on three different points of shari so that you can enjoy an even spiciness in every way you bite on. Now, the moment I've been waiting for, let's scoop uni. If you are an uni obsessed person like me, go crazy and scoop up the whole row. Apply nikiri, then voila. Here is your ultimate drop that gorgeous uni temaki, aka uni hot dog. Thank you and arigatou. See you in the next video.